Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ashley, and in today's video, we are gonna be doing a closet declutter and organize, a long anticipated video. I have been talking about doing this for quite a while now, so we are gonna get started. It's probably gonna take me a couple days. I might have to split this up into two videos, maybe one video for my side of the closet and another for my husband's side of the closet, but we will just see how it goes. So I'm gonna show you guys what our closet is currently looking like. It is a disaster. We also are hiding the kids' Christmas gifts in here, so I'm gonna have to hide them in the room while I do this, so this is gonna be interesting. Hopefully the kids won't be snooping around. But without further ado, let me show you my closet. You guys, it is a mess. So we have suitcases from our trip to Vegas. This is my husband's side. I have cleaned this up so many times and it just piles up. So here's his side. We have nothing at the top and then just stuff. Which I might have to go get some Tupperware for storage because we have lots of like photo albums and stuff in here. So that's his side. And then here's my side. I am really bad about throwing my clothes that I try on and change my mind. I just shove them in there. And then we did already organize these two drawers. And then these are like my socks and underwear, which I'm probably going to organize those off camera just because, you know, personal stuff. <laughs> and then my cubbies just have so much stuff. So much stuff and suitcases I'm definitely going through my clothes because I need to get rid of a lot of stuff I don't wear a lot of it so I know it's time to part ways and then this is my fancy hiding of the Christmas presents you know I got a blanket just <laughs> thrown on top of everything so we are gonna start by going through all of my clothes Okay, so I think we're just gonna start with that one whole side because it's so much. Now here comes the fun part. We are going to be sorting through all of the clothes. I went ahead and grabbed some trash bags. That way they were handy so I could bag up the stuff I knew I wanted to donate. If this is hard for you, just know you are not alone. I hold a lot of sentimental value in my clothing. I have mentioned this before, but it really does bring back memories and it is tough for me to get rid of it. So if you also struggle with that, then I encourage you to put me on while you declutter and go through your clothes and let's tackle it together. We can do this and it feels so good when you get done. So that is what we are doing. We are bagging up the stuff that I no longer use or I haven't worn in a long time. I had a few things that I wanted to try on just because I wasn't too sure about them. I ended up keeping those two and threw out this one. And once we went through this pile of clothes, I needed to sort through all of the hangers because I had so many hangers. So I went ahead and just hung them in the closet for now. That way they're just out of the way. It is now the next day. We are gonna go ahead and pull out the next batch of clothes. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the Christmas presents quite yet, but I'll probably just have to hide them somewhere in our room. 
You really don't realize how much stuff you have until you actually pull it all out and really stand back and look at it. And you guys, I was really blown away by how much stuff. I knew I had a lot by looking in the closet, but it really did help by pulling it out so I could really see exactly how much clothing I had. And then it really did encourage me to get rid of a lot more than I probably would have. I wanted to leave them hanging and just sort through them on the hanger, but I knew if I did that, I wouldn't give it just and I wouldn't have gotten rid of as much. So if you are gonna go through your clothes, I definitely encourage you to pull it all out that way you can see everything that you have because it really did put it into perspective for me. Okay, so this is all the clothes that I have left, which is, it's still a lot, but I did get rid of two bags worth, so I would call that a success for me, and I got rid of one whole bag from my dresser when I did that dresser declutter. So, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out all the Christmas gifts so we can see what's under here and I wanna be able to vacuum in here when we're done. I couldn't believe how many hangers I had left over. So I just went ahead and threw away the cheaper ones that you usually get whenever you buy clothes from a retail store and just kept the nicer plastic ones for extras in the closet. So what do you guys think? Oh my gosh, I need to figure out what we're gonna do with all the gifts. Yeah, that's not noticeable. <laughs> okay, so now I pulled all the gift out, gifts out and I just need to go through this. These are just some more clothes that I knew I wanted to throw away. I just kind of threw them on the floor a while ago and then I have my winter jacket and some random stuff. So we're gonna go through this really quick and see what I can toss. I once felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you were shrugging your shoulders and close. I had so many random things in this little bin right here and just thrown on the floor so it was definitely time for me to pull everything out of this closet and really see what I had in here and what was necessary and what needed to be picked up and maybe stored away in the attic or what could just be thrown away because obviously if it's sitting on the floor of my closet it's clearly not being used so it's time to part ways with it. I'm really bad about throwing stuff away. I have definitely gotten better the older that I get and the more that my husband nags me about it. So this is definitely a work in progress. I am going to be doing a lot more decluttering in the future. So if this is content that interests you, then definitely hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family because I do plan on doing massive decluttering in the next month or two. And I would love to have you a part of my growing YouTube family. And if you haven't yet, please hit that like button if you are enjoying this video. It really does support my channel and I couldn't tell you guys 
how appreciative I am. I love all of my subscribers and my viewers so much. So please don't forget to hit that big thumbs up. That way YouTube knows that you guys enjoy this and that way I know to keep making content like this. Now that I have almost everything pulled out of my closet, except for my shoes, I can really go through everything, see what I can get rid of and see what I want to save. And over here, I am starting with my pictures and the things that the kids have made at school. I definitely wanted to hold on to this stuff, so I was just sorting through it to see if I had any random papers mixed in there and storing all of the memorable stuff in a little bin this definitely helped make my closet look so much more organized. So definitely get a little storage container. And I must admit, while I was going through this, I was tearing up. I was trying to hold back my tears because I am such a softy. Every time I go through old pictures or things that the kids have made me, it really does touch my heart. And it just makes me realize how fast time is going. And you really do have to savor the moment and live in the moment because time truly does fly by. Drunk. I never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high. Somewhere up in the clouds We're going out of ourselves Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing We're the wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, trip, trip Nah, trip, trip, trip Oh, I flick the switch Kill the lights Oh, I wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces we don't care about him tonight We're going out of ourselves Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing With the wheels don't stop turning I know we're acting stupid We are getting so close to being done going through everything that was in my closet. I am really proud of myself with how much I got rid of and just finding a home for everything and finding the proper place just feels so amazing. And this back rubber right here, I have been holding on to it even though it no longer moves up and down like it was supposed to. It was broken, but for some reason, I just didn't want to throw it away, so I finally threw it away and I went ahead and used this little basket for all of my random fitness equipment. I have some ankle bands and some waist trainers and just, just a few random things. So I went ahead and stored them all nice and neat in this little bin and it looks so much better now. Now that I went through all of the junk that was in my closet, I'm finally gonna pull out all of my shoes. And I have went through my shoes not too long ago, so there really weren't too many pairs that I didn't use. Whenever we moved into our house, I had thrown away a lot of shoes. So these are basically the ones that I typically use, but I did throw out a few of them.
All right, now we have all the shoes pulled out and you guys, there's so much dust. I'm gonna go in and vacuum and then wipe these down. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this up here just because I don't have my tall ladder. I let my friend borrow it, so I can't really get up here. I'm gonna clean these shelves right here because I can reach those, but I can't reach that. And I'm gonna go through my hangers and throw away all the cheaper ones and just keep the nicer hangers since I clearly have a lot left over. Now I'm going in with my Method Wood Cleaner. This is by far my favorite Method Cleaner. It smells amazing. It is the almond scent. So I'm wiping down all of the shelves just to make sure they are nice and dust free before putting everything back up. It feels so amazing to see this closet look so clean and dust free. Well, at least on my side, but we will get to my husband soon enough. But you guys, this transformation is just amazing. I cannot wait for you guys to see the finished product. But now I am going ahead and putting all of my pictures and the kids' school stuff at the very top of the closet since I really don't need to get those down. So I stored them nice and high and out of the way, but at least they are nice and neat.
As you guys can see, my one-year-old Ethan is just hanging out while I'm cleaning. He was pulling everything out of my bathroom drawers and his favorite thing is to take off the tops to spray bottles. So then I am constantly searching for my spray tops and that's what he was doing while I was cleaning but I wasn't even going to bother trying to correct him because it was keeping him distracted so I could finish this closet. My suitcase is actually my storage for all of my purses. I have gone through these and I hang on to my old purses because I'm not big on buying new purses. I just don't like spending the money on them. So I often hang on to them and just swap them out. Is anybody else like me? Do you just rotate your purses and not buy new ones until absolutely necessary? But as you guys saw, whenever I was trying to put the luggage back up top, my camera fell down. So you couldn't see that, but I just kept that in. Now we are going ahead and picking up everything. This closet is so close to done. I am so excited. I have a storage container right here that I keep under the bed that is full of all of my wrapping paper, mainly Christmas wrapping paper, but also some birthday bags and random assortments. So I needed to pull it out and add the stuff that I found in the closet into this bin. And Adrian had been digging in there the other day, so she left the lid off of it and there was just stuff flying everywhere. So I was just trying to tuck it back in and then fit it back under my bed. I definitely need to buy a second bin because I do have enough stuff where two would definitely fit a lot better. I am just bagging up the hangers that I will be throwing away as well as all of the trash. That way we can finally put my shoes and clothes back in my closet to show you guys this huge transformation. I am so proud of myself. It feels amazing to finally get this done and accomplished. So if you guys have been neglecting your closet, I definitely encourage you to put me on and let's tackle your closet together because having a clean and organized space has definitely made a huge difference. And Now I am going through and organizing my shirts by short sleeves, long sleeves, and then jackets. I wanted my closet to be a little more organized and also color coded. So by sorting it this way, it definitely helped me whenever putting it back into the closet. It looks so much better. Oh my goodness. I got the clothes color coordinated as best as I could. Went from darks to just different colors. I just kept the colors together and then met in the middle with like the white. And then this side is the jackets and pullovers. This side is long sleeves. And then all of these are my short sleeve shirts. And I got rid of so much stuff that I didn't even need to use down here. And right here, I usually keep my exercise bike. Currently, it's right there because I used it the other day. So I just left it out. But usually I tuck that. over there in that corner. So that is awesome. I have all that room. And then 
It's so organized now. I have my breast pumps, which I don't really need them anymore. I might try to sell them. And then I do have a snowball microphone. I don't really use it because it only hooks up to a laptop and I don't have a laptop. And then I have this felt board to write on, all my books nice and neat. And then I have all my workout stuff. I got my foam rollers, my gym bag, and then this is like the extra gym equipment and like wrap bands for your stomach. So I am so happy. It looks so much better. And the reason why I didn't put shoes up there is just because I can't reach that shelf. And if I put my shoes up there, they will probably never get used. So I just left them on the three lower ones that I can reach. So we have three bags to donate, one bag of shoes, two bags of clothes. I have two bags of trash. I have to just pick up a few things because Ethan was dragging stuff out as I was cleaning and then we are all done. All right, you guys, this is gonna be the end of all of this cleaning motivation. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really does support my channel. And if you haven't yet, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I upload every Monday and Friday at 9 a.m. Central with often a bonus video thrown in there. So if this content is the kind that you like, then definitely subscribe because I bring lots of cleaning motivation weekly and I would love to have you here. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this closet deep clean with me and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.